Okay, here are some secrets about Pepe. We're going to dive into it in this video. Also, what's going on with the $7.6 million at current value that's locked forever of Pepe tokens? And as if that wasn't enough, we're going to talk about Pepe burns. That's right. The potential to burn Pepe and if more Pepe could ever be minted. All of that in this video. So a jam-packed video for you. Of course, Pepe Token has taken the crypto space by storm. Now, I want to preface this by saying, listen, Pepe has done the unthinkable, the unimaginable, right? But it doesn't change how I feel about various other crypto sectors. I love the meme coin sector, the community coin sector. It has changed so many lives, including my own. But when you look at crypto, there are so many different sectors out there, so many different opportunities, whether it's layer ones, layer twos, AI crypto, gaming crypto, and of course, community tokens, just one of those ways that we can achieve financial freedom. So some of the people in my last video were saying, Zach, all you do is talk about all this BS now. No, listen, I talk about opportunities. I talk about ways to make money in crypto and things that I am doing. Of course, none of it's financial advice. You've got to take it, take it in. You can agree with some of the things I say, disagree, listen to other people, right? I'm all about financial freedom. And right here today, financial freedom is being had in the community token space. That is undeniable. Now, with all that being said, let's dive in here because uh, right now more Pepe cannot be minted. This is very important. Supply could decrease over time via burns as well. This too, a very important piece that we're going to uh, dive into in this video. So this information came from an on-chain investigation of the Pepe contract. And basically what came out of this is the asset itself, Pepe token, is deflationary with an in bur uh, inbuilt burn functionality. A lot of people aren't talking about this. So the recent disclosures were made by Saigar, a notable yet synonymous software developer and one of the individuals behind the maintenance of ERC-721A standard. He says there is a burn functionality in this contract, but there is no further minting ability. This is bullish. This means that the supply of Pepe can only decrease from here on out. The tokens held by the blacklisted addresses can be considered locked up forever as well. We're going to talk about that as well in this video, some of those tokens that are locked up forever. Now, according to Saigar, the Pepe contract code has an inbuilt burn functionality, which indicates that tokens can be burned to reduce the asset circulating supply. Pepe has a total supply of 420 plus trillion tokens per data from uh, price tracking resource CoinGecko. These findings suggest that the assets contract code prohibits minting of more tokens, meaning while Pepe circling supply can decrease over time, more tokens cannot be created and put into circulation. This makes this asset Pepe token deflationary. Moreover, it was observed that Pepe contract deployer blacklisted an address very early on. Somebody, a pioneer, purchased over 2.5 trillion tokens hours after trading the asset opened on Uniswap. These tokens are currently valued at 7.6 million. Now, they blacklisted this wallet. The deployer has since then renounced ownership of the contract. As a result, there's no possible way for the blacklist to affect, um, blacklist effect on this address can be overturned. This means the 7.6 million worth of Pepe tokens today in the address is locked up forever. Now, despite the burn functionality built into the contract code, there is limited information on the availability of a burn mechanism for the asset. This was raised questions and conjectures on how the token can be burned. Some proponents believe the assets could be sent to the blacklisted address to take them out of circulation. Meanwhile, Pepe did hit a little bit of a roadblock yesterday in terms of its price, but still, obviously, a massive market cap with a ton of potential now that it's listed on Binance. Let me know what you guys think about all this down below. Appreciate you guys, as always, for stopping back by the channel. If you want to do good and uh, show me some love, subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. It help us tickle that algorithm a little bit. Push this video out there to new folks because I think it's important they know that uh, there is some secrets about Pepe. Number one, 7.6 million locked up forever. And Pepe Burns could be something in the future. And uh, more Pepe cannot be minted, making the asset deflationary. Appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you in the next video.